Right, it is round uh, 10 of the Southern League and Opens. Uh, we're on Steamer Beach by Christchurch, sort of Bournemouth way. Um, and it's pretty rough out there. Now, uh, up to about two hours ago, it's 47 mile an hour winds, horrific rain. Driving down the M27 here, I could barely see anything and having to drive at 50 mile an hour, which was kind of a bit dodgy. But we're here. I hear quite a few people haven't turned up today because of the weather. Um, but the match starts at 5.30. At 5 o'clock, it's supposed to die down to about 22 mile an hour winds. So, uh, we might be all right, you know. I've got to go and set up in it all. It's going to be pretty manky to start with. Um, but we're going to give it a go. We've got the 6 ounce weights and even 7 ounce weights if needed. Um, and we need a result. I think there might only be two zones today. Uh, so, this means... If I don't do well, there's a chance of a very high number, which we don't want. We don't want any high numbers, but just got to go and do my best. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> the main thing you learn about the Southern League and Opens is how to put a beach shower up in 45 mile hour winds. Now, there's good news and there's bad news. The good news is we're all set up, we're here and we're ready to go. Uh, the bad news is I've had two casts out without any hooks or anything and there is that much weed, I don't think it's going to be fishable. I don't know. Um, look, we've got Darren Newland next to me. Now, Darren is probably one of the best anglers in the country, if not the, one of the best in the world. He, he fished for England in the World Championships in South Africa back in February. He's one of the top guys. Uh, I've just had a chat, he's had a couple of casts out and he's not sure if it's gonna be fishable. Um, don't know what to do, really. I mean, I'm here, I'm gonna give it a go. I've had two casts out and I could barely reel in because of the amount of weed on the line and that's without any hooks or anything. So we've got half an hour to go. Yeah, I'll get them right up. Get your line tight straight away, especially with fixed forward. So yeah. you can stop it from where it's right stays tight. The weather's cleared up. Second cast. Sizable pout, just about sizable, 18 centimetres. Darren next to me's caught three or four fish already, but I'm happy with that. Oh, we're on the board. The weather's cleared up. There's no weed. I've never seen anything like it. It's, it's fine fishing conditions. So we've got an undersized pout. 16 centimetres, but it's another ounce to the weight. It's, it's a start, isn't it? Two more pout. Both undersized, but hey got a few fish. We caught four fish in what five or six casts. That's all right. I'm happy enough. I'm having a lovely time. No wind, no rain. It's a lovely evening. I've just had a triple shot, two undersized pow and a dogfish. They're what we want, some of them. That's a proper way. Yes. You going ray fishing? I can't put my pals on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I might be 19, let's see. Where's this massive ray that's coming out there? Last cast, <laughs> isn't it? This is what you do. <laughs> Sizable pout. That's 19 centimetres. The only problem is I've just went to see Darren Newland. He weighed it for me, or measured it for me. And he said he's going big, he's going for a ray. He's going, so I'm slightly concerned now because he, he does pull out the odd fish in these matches. 
So we're about three hours in. Uh, I think on about 40 ounces. Uh, most of that weight's made up by the dogfish. Couple of sizable pouting, five puppets. I think all pouting. Um, but three hours in, so we've got two hours left. I'm fairly happy with that. I'm not getting too excited because either the last match I caught loads and didn't do very well, but I seem to be doing better than people around me. Good enough for me. Conga. Oh, it's really close, isn't it? Oh, yeah, no, you've got it easy. Yeah, yeah, mate. Yeah. Yeah, So that was kind of it for me. The first two and a half hours I was doing really well. I didn't really catch anything in the last half of the match, which is kind of a real shame because if I had caught the similar amount of fish in the second half as I did in the first half, I would have been sort of fifth or sixth, which I'm really happy with. Uh, unfortunately, I had a tenth, which is not really kind of what I wanted because I've already had the two bad results. Was it an 18th or a 14th? That tenth is going to stand on my final championship position because you drop your two worst results. So the SLL had its tenth competition at Steamers sponsored by Christchurch Angling Centre. This was on Saturday, the 26th of October, 2019. Um, 41 anglers fished in two zones with 39 anglers weighing in. The sizable fish consisted of a 71 pout, four small array, one bass, two silver eels, uh, 30 dogfish, five conger, a total of 243 fish were caught. The winner of the match was Steve Pawley from Southampton with 11 pound 10 ounces. Now he was on peg 30. So he was only three pegs down from me, uh, and he had one small eye ray, two dogfish, a pout, and three top-ups. Second place was Rob Chapman from Taunton on peg 38. He had £10.13 ounces. Third place was Jeff Fursk from Bournemouth, £9.7 ounces. Uh, the heaviest round was Steve Pawley with a £7.10 ounce small eye ray. No flats were caught at all. Zone winners picked up £100 each and the nominated fish, which was a whiting, went to Stephen Howell and he had an 18 centimetre whiting. Colin Carey and Ben Arnold have said to really point out that I did actually uh, come equal with Darren Euland. <laughs> uh, but on a serious note, Darren was a massive help throughout the whole competition. In actual fact, he's been helping me quite a lot the second half of the year. He's put me onto some different hooks to use and different snood lengths. Um, and in that match, we picked up a little bit on camera. Of course, it's horrific conditions, so we can't really film much in those conditions. But he was telling me, to, you know, what to do with my leg weights at the start to make sure they're gripping in, where to cast, where to have my rod and the tripod position, keep it nice and high. Um, and even halfway through the match, when I was in front of him, he was still giving me all this advice. Even the last half hour when we were exactly equal on weight, he was still telling me, now, Jimmy, you've got to get over the weed now. You're in the weed, your line's gone slack, get out. And it's, it's just a massive help, all these little bits, because I'm picking lots of little bits up, you know. And I think next year I should um, be somewhere near where I, I think I can have a good crack at it for the whole year. I think I'm going to have enough knowledge. So in the championship, where am I now? I remain in 16, um, which is a lot better than what I was expecting at the start of the year. So I shouldn't be disappointed. Um, but let's have a look, instead of uh, finding out how I'm struggling, let's have a look at the top of the table because we've only got two rounds left. We've got, first is Ben Arnold, 35 points. Second, Darren Newland, 38 points. Third, Jeff Fursk, 39 points. Then we've got Colin Carey in fourth. 
uh, with 47 points. Now, remember, the, these two worst results haven't been dropped yet. So Colin Carey, you can see, he didn't do the first round, so he got 27 points. So when you take all of that off, it's extremely close between Ben Arnold, Dan Newland, Colin Carey, and Jeff First. Who's going to win it? I don't know. Well, it could be anyone, really. Absolutely anyone. By the look of the results, I reckon it's going to be Ben Arnold, Darren Newland, or Colin Carey. Colin can afford another dodgy result. Um, the problem is with Ben, Darren, and Colin, they're all very consistent. Obviously, Darren had his worst result of the year next to me with a 10th. But he can drop that. But he's also had a 13th. So that will be dropped. So he can't really afford to have another bad result. Ben Arnold's had his worst results so far are a 9th and a 7th. Colin Carey obviously missed the first round, so that's 27. But Colin's not had a, a bad result since then, really. So... I don't know who's going to win it. I mean, anything can happen in the last two rounds. Darren Newland can't afford to have a bad round. Ben can't really afford any, uh, to have another bad round because he's had a ninth and a seventh. Colin Carey can probably afford to have one dodgy result, I would say. Um, but who knows? Next week, we've got um, the British Open in Kent. Never fished in Kent in my life. I don't know how I'm going to get on, but we will have a video on that. Then we've got the week after round 11 of the Southern League. And then we've got round 12 of the Southern League uh, in December, which kind of finishes off my match fishing year. And it's good. Uh, so come and follow me, subscribe, like, share the video around, share the love, and we'll be back very soon. The next video will be the British Open from Kent next weekend. Wish me luck, gang.